Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories! <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. Exploring Emotions a Mindfulness Guide to Dealing with Emotions Written by Paul Cristales, illustrated by Elisa Paganelli Everyone notices the weather outside, don't they? Have a look now. Is it sunny or cloudy? Rainy or dry? Windy or calm? Or something else? But did you realize that weather also happens inside you? In fact, if you take a look, you'll feel it right now. We call this inner weather, emotions. And just like the weather outside, emotions are completely natural. Today is track and field day at school. The weather outside is warm and sunny. But for many children, it feels very different. Here's Mateo. He's not feeling warm and sunny at all. Inside. Mateo is experiencing a different kind of weather. For him, running in a race makes him feel nervous. It's like watching a storm approaching. It can be scary. And here's Sally, who is also about to run in the race. Her inner weather is different from Mateo's. Can you tell what emotion she's experiencing? Sally enjoys competing. She's feeling excitement and can't wait for the race to start. Pause button. How would you describe Sally's weather? When you're about to run in a race, what's your weather like? Over at the jump rope race, Manisha has tripped just before the finish line. She's feeling really angry with herself. She could have won if she'd been more careful. How could I be so stupid? Pause button. Anger can feel like burning hot sun. When you feel angry, where in your body do you feel the burning? Your belly? Your head? Somewhere else? And this is Caleb. His ankle is broken so he can participate in any sport today. The sadness and disappointment he feels are like a gray, drizzly day that seems to last forever. Tom is sitting close to Caleb but there are no rain clouds over him. He just completed three events in a row, and now he's feeling relief, as well as some achy muscles. For him, relief is like a cool breeze on a hot day. Later in the day, the weather is changing. And guess what? Just like the weather, the children's emotions are changing too. Mateo was nervous, but now he's finished his race and is eating a big bowl of chocolate ice cream. Pause button. Can you tell what Mateo is feeling now? When you eat something delicious, what feelings do you experience? Sally's excitement has changed too. She won her race, but now she's at the hospital visiting her sick grandma. She feels worried and a little sad. Meanwhile, Manisha is no longer angry with herself. She was awarded a medal for perseverance and now she's feeling proud. No more drizzle for Caleb! His cast has been removed and now he's feeling happy. And Tom is back home now with nothing to do. Relief has turned to boredom. Changes in our inner weather happen all the time. It's natural and normal. Sometimes the weather feels pleasant, when we feel happy, relieved, or excited, for example. And sometimes it feels unpleasant, like when we feel anger, sadness, or frustration. The good news is, we don't have to worry about getting stuck with unpleasant emotions, because this won't last forever. Perhaps you are feeling sad this morning, but this afternoon, who knows? We can't predict how we will feel later, 
and we can't always change our emotions while we are feeling them. But we can learn to be with these emotions as we feel them. We accept them just as they are. Hello, nervous feeling in my belly. You feel uncomfortable, but I know you won't stay long. I know you are here, sadness. It's okay, because I know you're just a feeling and you will pass. Right now, I'm not feeling anything in particular, and that's perfectly fine. Pause button. Take a moment to be with what you are feeling right now. How's your inner weather? Sunny? Gloomy? Stormy? Or perhaps there's not a lot going on and you don't feel very much. That's fine too! Sometimes, when weather is very stormy, it feels as if you might get blown away by the strong winds. Anger or nervousness can feel like powerful storms. When you're in a storm of emotions, try naming the emotion you are experiencing. When you name what you are feeling, the storm often comes down a little and doesn't feel so powerful. This is anger I'm feeling. Here's that nervous feeling again. So take the time to check your personal weather report every day. And remember that we all experience many kinds of weather. Our friends, families, teachers, and pets all have sunny moments, stormy moments, and not feeling very much at all moments. Enjoy the pleasant feelings when they are present and remember that unpleasant ones will pass. Hello weather! How are you today? What are the lessons that we could learn from this story? First, emotions are natural and normal, even the unpleasant ones. Emotions are part of us in our daily lives as human beings. They are present in everyone and they are there to help us make decisions, protect us, and guide us as we navigate our way through this journey called life. Emotions are crucial factors in our drives to act and react. Therefore, we shouldn't feel ashamed of whatever we are feeling. Know that feelings are permissible, it can be expressed, and can be talked about. It is also important to know that each and every one of us experiences different inner weather and feeling different emotions even if we are in the same place at the same time. Just like the kids in the story, some of them were excited to run in the race, but some were nervous, anxious, and scared. Second, just like the weather outside, our inner weather changes all the time too. It's very important to know that our emotions are continuously changing. It's not permanent and that changes in our inner weather happens all the time. So we don't have to worry about getting stuck with an unpleasant emotions because we know that it won't last forever. You may be feeling angry and scared right now, but later, who knows? Let's enjoy the pleasant feelings when they're present and know that the unpleasant ones will pass. Remember, feelings are just visitors. Let them come and go. Third, meditating on our feelings can help us calm down. Meditation can create the mindfulness you need to welcome and experience your emotions, helping you recognize that they are not the enemy, but rather quite the opposite. They, like you, want to be seen, heard, felt, and connected with. They want your attention so they can help you stop and access the information you need to not just survive, but to thrive. We can understand our emotions by asking ourselves what is it that we are feeling and why. We can't predict how we will feel later and we can't always change our emotions while we are feeling them. But we can learn to be with these emotions as we feel them. We accept them just as they are. Feel the feeling but don't become the emotion. Witness it, allow it, release it. Crystal Andrews Thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one! Bye!